This video goes through the last two questions on your practice test on the paper copy. So on this one, we have two inequalities that we need to graph. And the good news is that both of them are perfectly ready to set up, or perfectly set up so that we can graph them easily. So line A starts at negative um, two on the y-axis and has a slope of negative three. And remember, you can always reverse the slope to get more points. Because it's greater than or equal to, it is going to be a solid line. And because it's greater than, we are going to shade up. And one of the biggest questions I've heard is, what do you mean shade up? How do I shade up? I don't know where to shade. If it's greater than, you're going to shade up. Put your pencil anywhere on this line. I like to put it on the y-intercept and draw an arrow straight up. Whatever side of the line that arrow is on, that's the side that you need to shade. So we need to shade this side. And if you think of it based on what that symbol actually means, the negative 3x minus 2 is the location of that line. We want our y values to be larger than that line. So on this line, like right here where I just made a black dot, on this line that y value is negative 2. Where are the y values larger than negative 2? Negative 1, 0, so you want to shade up from that boundary line. Then our other equation, sorry, inequality, is y is less than 2. That is a horizontal dashed line and less than, so that means we shade down. And the two highlighter colors that I used, hopefully you can see where it double shaded. In EdSight, we only want to put this double shaded area. I'm trying to see if I can make it even darker. This is the only area that we want to mark in EdSight. Watch the EdSight video for how I enter this on EdSight, and that will help you with that. Um, but for now, I'm going to. This is what we're going to want our answer to look like in EdSight. We just want the double shaded region to be highlighted or shaded. Don't forget about part B on this problem. Once we have this system graphed, is the point 2, 4 a solution? So 2, 4, that's right here. That is not in the double shaded region, so no, that is not a solution. What about the point 1, negative 5? That's this point that's right on the line. And because that's a solid line, yes, that line is included in the shading. So that is a solution. How about the point zero, zero? That is definitely in the double shaded region. So that is a solution. And the point three, two. That point is on a dashed line. That dashed line is not part of the shaded region. So that is not a solution. On EdSight for this one, you'll have to drag the points into either the solution area or the not solution area. Again, watch the video on EdSight specifically to see how to do this problem. It'll be a super short video. I'll just go through each type of problem really fast. The last problem will be a multiple choice. The thing that you need to notice is that all four of these graphs have the same two lines. The lines are in the same place. The lines are solid, both lines are solid. It's just which region is the final solution region. And what I would do on my own paper is make a little sketch of these two lines. So one of them crosses here and is kind of steep like that. The other one crosses down here and is less steep. <clears throat> The first one, y is greater than 2x plus 1, that's this line that starts at 1. That one is shaded up, so that would be up here. The other inequality is not ready to graph, so we would have to do a little bit of work. 
we'd have to subtract 2x on both sides and then divide everything by negative 5 which would flip the sign that's this line and it needs to be shaded down which would be here and the double shaded region is this lower left area which is in this graph.